Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about previous year questions from Gatsby 2020 and this particular topic would be on bioinformatics. And many of you guys have requested for this video, so here is your video. Now, my channel provides you analytics and it allows you to identify potential hotspot with help, which helps you with your preparation, right? And my analytics says from bioinformatics, the difficulty level is mild to moderate advanced level difficulty questions they don't ask but before jumping into questions directly let me tell you about some important aspects right now due to covid offline class classes are not at all safe but where do you learn because you are trapped inside your home and your learning cannot stop so you can learn online with an academy where you can learn from home and learn safe so you can download the app you can use my code AP10 to get access and you can start learning with this app. Now, let me tell you what about the financial aspect because you need to subscribe, you need to pay some amount of money to learn, right? But Unacademy provides a huge amount of fellowship, about 10 lakhs in this month of July. So what you can do, you can sit for a scholarship test. It's just a scholarship test. You can sit for it. 11th July is the date and 11 a.m. is the time so you can scan the QR code for more details just enroll right now all the information regarding this would be provided in the description go enroll right now let's move on to the questions directly <coughs> okay question one which was asked in Gatsby 2020 so before that let me tell you that these bioinformatics bioinformatics part was included in the Gatsby syllabus just last year right so obviously Previous year question means only one year question. So question one says, which of the following tool can give us an idea about whether a qu query sequence derived from unknown species or animal has a homology with human sequence? Blast, Rasmol, Emboss, Prospect. Okay, let me quickly give you the answers and then I'll explain it to you. So the correct answer would be Blast. Second question says, the, sig the significance of a hit after a blast is measured by p score max score e score and total score again let me keep the answer and then we'll answer we'll explain this thing together the e value is the important score which tells you the significance of a blast uh, run so what is a blast if you guessed it correctly it's not a bomb blast but blast is an important tool so here when in blast you start with the unknown sequence. This unknown sequence you have derived from, let's say, some unknown species. You just have the DNA sequence. And you want to know that this sequence is similar to what known sequence. So you are comparing unknown to unknown set of sequence. And the BLAST runs on specific algorithm, which I would uh, explain in a different video. But anyway, what it does is it, it kind of uh, scans for these query sequence in the database and try to look for matches. So the output of BLAST is kind of like sequence alignment. It also tells you that the identity score, that how good is the match and quality score, that how much the algorithm is confident about this match. So that's a quality score and e-value is something related with this quality score. Now let us go to specifics. So this is a BLAST uh, this is a particular BLAST result. So I have put some kind of like unknown sequence in this BLAST tool and they have given us some outputs, okay? So they give some max score, total score, query cover, right, etc. So lastly, you see something called E-value here, right? And you have different kind of E-value. Some are zero, some are some numbers. What is this? And they also give you percentage identity that how much your sequence is matching with the sequence in the database and they also give some accession code right so we currently cannot understand what is e-value but if you open one of these results let's say the second result you have opened in this case let's see what you would get so this is something you would get so they said yeah so they said except score is zero then identities is something number divided by something a number that means it's like 100% identical so the match is to, uh, i mean complete match right so they said how many gaps since the match is complete there would be no gaps 
right? And which DNA strand it matches to. It also gives that kind of information, right? So these things can be obtained from BLAST. Now let us try to understand what is E value. So simply E value is a number. I mean that tells you about expected heats of similar quality. Okay, that could be find uh, that could be found just by chance. That means what really E value tells us. That means, I mean, let's say we have an E value of 10. It means up to 10 hits can be expected to be found by chance. So lower the E value, better is the quality of blast run. So you try to look for the blast hits which has lowest E value. So that's the moral of the story. Now you understand what is this E value. Obviously, we have chosen these first reads because these are top reads which are having 100% identity and they have lowest E value. That means the algorithm is bloody confident about this kind of match, right? It's a perfect match. Exactly. Now we understand what is E value and how to read and understand these uh, uh, sequence matches, right? Here you would have a query sequence that you have input and here is your subject sequence, right? against whom the comparison is made. So I hope that clears your doubt. But anyway, uh, in other videos, we would talk about BLAST in great details. Next question says, sequence comparison do not provide information about gene location, then functional relationship, evolutionary history, then uh, genetic relationship. Okay, this question is directly not linked with bio bioinformatics. So you can try to give the answer, okay? So here the question four says, ProCheck is a tool to calculate the molecular weight. Then protein structure prediction tool using homology modeling, tool to assess stereochemical quality of a protein structure. Now protein nucleotide database. So obviously you need to understand the term, what is ProCheck, it's a common term. So it's a tool just like BLAST to assess stereochemical quality of the protein structure. So again, there would be some quality scores, there would be some identity scores, etc, etc, which we would be talking in different videos. Question 5 says PDB contains information about, so PDB which is protein data bank contains information about tertiary structure of proteins, right? So you can go to PDB and browse, get a graphical overview of the structural structural details of a protein. Let's say you type hemoglobin, it would show you structure of a hemoglobin in a graphical fashion. So it would generally derive this graphical representation from extra crystallographic data. Later on, we would understand how to read PDB files. Question six, the structural alignment is um, measured by, last time we talked about sequence alignment, now structural alignment is measured by Again, so they are talking about quality control parameters a lot. So this is an important thing. Whenever we talk about protein alignment, DNA alignment or any sequence alignment, we have to think that, okay, we should read about uh, the how to judge the quality of our alignment, right? Exactly. So they have given p-value, e-value, RSMD, RMST and then uh, sequence identity. Correct answer would be RMST, which is root mean square deviation of an atomic position. And... Um, this kind of tells you that average deviation of a particular uh, atom, uh, I, mean, I mean, between two atoms, what is the deviation from a particular uh, conformation? So the smaller the RMSD, greater would be the uh, structural level match. In a different video, we'll talk about RMSD in details, but this is very brief overview of what RMSD means. This kind of similar strategy can be used in multiple cases. I'll tell you about that in other videos. Now, here is a practice question for you. Given our two statements about BLAST tool, since BLAST is their favorite, and you can expect one question from BLAST. So this statement says the basic local alignment tool finds regions of local similarity between proteins and nucleotide sequence. Okay. Then the second statement says the program compares nucleotide or protein sequence to the sequence in a database and calculates the statistical significance of matches. Now, here are the options. So go through this question and try to let me know about the answer in the comment section. And see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do let me know how you like my videos. Thank you. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook.